Hello students welcome to our Amit channel everyone success story begins here today i want to discuss formulas in the 10th cbsc science textbook i am going to cover all the formulas you know which you don't know and which you ignore sometimes if you want full marks you must remember all these formulas how to remember them number 1 make a note in paper and stick them somewhere where you come across daily daily revise at least 3 times from 10 days before examination write them without seeing practice them and you know practice makes man perfect it's not needed to know all these derivations except series and parallel but if you have time try to know how to derive them because once you learn derivation you'll never forget the formulas here we begin number 1 q is equal to ne where q is equal to charge n is the number of electrons e is the charge of electron charge of the electron value e is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs next number 2 i is equal to q by t where i is called current q is called charge and t is the time of flow of current number 3 v is equal to w by q where V is called potential, W is work, and Q is charge. Number four, V is equal to I R from Ohm's law. V is equal to potential, I is equal to current, R is equal to resistance. Number five, R is equal to rho L by A, where R is called resistance, rho is called resistivity, L is called length. A is called area. Sometimes A we should take by R square also. Remember, number six, R. total resistance in the effective resistance in series combination is given as rs is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 we can extend it to any number of resistors given or if all the resistors are same you can use also the formula rs is equal to nr if all of them are same only number 7 1 by rp resistance in parallel i mean to say 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 we can extend this to any number of resistors if all of them are same 1 by rp is equal to n by r please remember again i'm saying reverse both the cases so it will become rp is equal to r by a n number 8 finding kilowatt hour or number of units i mean to say commercial unit of electrical energy n into p into t into days by 1000 this is the only formula where we will take time in hours remaining all problems we will take time in seconds but this is the only pro- formula where we will take time in hours number 9 heat formulas given in electricity the heat formulas given in electricity are h is equal to i square rt where we'll call it as joule's law of heating and another formulas are h is equal to v square t by r and h is equal to vit number formulas power is equal to i square r v square by r or vi now we will discuss light lesson formulas one by one number 11 we will discuss coming to number first lenz formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u where where f is called as focal length v is called image distance and u is called object distance and for the magnification formula for lenses is m is equal to v by u or h dash by h where h dash is called image size and h is called object size number 11 mirrors formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u or and magnification for mirrors is m is equal to minus v by u or h dash by h and coming to f is focal length v is image distance u is object distance h dash is image size and h is object size same as lenz formula only and next we will discuss about refractive index velocity of light in air by velocity of light in given medium velocity of light in air is also called as velocity of light in vacuum you have to take remember value is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second if they give or not this is the value for velocity of light in air another formula number for refractive index is real depth by apparent depth actually not given in textbook but it may be useful sometimes 
Next, number 16, power. Power formulas are 1 by F, it is in meters, or 100 by F, if focal length is given in centimeters. Number 7, power of combination of lenses is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. You can extend it to any number of powers given. Number 18. Snell's law. Refractive index is equal to sine of angle of incidence by sine of angle of refraction. And at minimum deviation position, same formula becomes mu is equal to, I mean to say refractive index is equal to sine of A plus D by 2 by sine of A by 2 because at minimum deviation angle of instance is equal to angle of emergence and first refraction is equal to second refraction next number 19 principle of reversibility of light refract index of first medium to second medium into refract index of second medium to first medium is equal to 1 for any given pair of media number 20 critical angle Refractive index is equal to 1 by sin c. It may be useful sometimes. It is not given in the textbook. But better you remember mu is equal to 1 by sin c. Next from the magnetism. Actually in the magnetism lesson they have not discussed any formulas. But here I am going to discuss one formula which will be helpful to do one of the questions given in the textbook. That is f is equal to b i l sin theta. 21st formula I am saying f is equal to b i l sin theta where f is equal to force b is equal to i is equal to current l is the length of the conductor theta is the angle between length of the conductor and magnetic field same formula f is equal to b i l sin theta we can write as b q v sin theta also which we will learn in higher classes next some of the chemistry formulas which i am going to discuss now chemistry formulas are number one coming from acids and bases ph formula ph definition is negative logarithm of base 10 hydrogen ion concentration so the ph formula is minus log of base 10 h plus ions concentration brackets in chemistry indicates concentration and the other formulas for carbon compounds in carbon compounds we have got for hydrocarbon some formulas which will be useful for us to draw structures formulas dot structures everything these formulas are mainly important to derive for the formula number one in carbon compounds alkanes alkanes formula is general formula i mean to say cn h 2n plus 2 in all the formulas which I'm going to discuss now, N is the number of carbon atoms. Next, number 24, alkenes, CN, H, 2N. Next, 25, alkynes, CN, H, 2N, minus 2. And remember, in alkenes and alkynes, no methane, no methane. 26, alcohols, CN, H, 2N, plus 1. OH. These formulas will not be discussed in the textbook but keep in the mind this will be helpful in deriving the formula or drawing the structure dot structures and 27 carboxylic acids CN minus 1 H 2N minus 1 COOH 28 aldehyde CN minus 1 H 2N minus 1 CHO 29 esters formula R COO R dash where R and R dash indicates alkyl groups and number 30 ketones R CO R dash where R and R dash here also indicates alkyl groups so these are the formulas please make a list of all these formulas in one white paper stick here and there practice them regularly before the examination apart from the formulas which I have given I want to mention two more formulas which are not there in the textbook even then it will be comfortable for you if ever like that problem arises they are h is equal to m s t2 minus t1 where h is heat m is the mass s is the specific heat t is the temperature other formula is radius of curvature is two times the focal length these are also formulas which you can keep in your mind and this is these all are the formulas which a mid channel only first published in the youtube and here is the list of all formulas i am giving take the printout visiting my blog i have given the link also go to the blog and take the pdf and stick here and there 
प्रैक्टिस दैम एंड ऑल्सो गो थ्रू दैम डेली मेक अ लिस्ट पेस्ट वेन एवर सच क्वेश्चन कम्स हाउ टू डू द सम्स एंड हाउ टू अटेम्प्ट द प्रॉब्लम्स आई वो डिस्कस इन द We will discuss in another video. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. Subscribe to Amit channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos which I upload.